So if you look at the cooperative, you're asking yourself, okay, what are the costs? Yeah, it sounds all good and all, but what are the costs? Let's read about it and then we're gonna talk about it. If you set up a cooperative, you pay notary costs. Okay, clear. A registration fee? Okay, that's also clear. And administration costs? Hmm, what are administration costs? That's a good question. Members cont contribute to the cooperative setting up and running costs. The cost for a civil notary different, uh, differ between 500 and 1000 euros. You pay a one time fee of 50 euros to register your cooperative with the Netherlands Chamber of Commerce. Okay, so technically we have three costs. We have costs for the notary, costs for the registration, the registration fee, right? and administration costs. We do not know what administration costs are. I think they're gonna talk about it in the second paragraph. In addition, there are costs for keeping records. A cooperative must find an annual account and deposit with the Chamber of Commerce. Okay, I can understand that. The information you have to submit depends on the size of your company. The average annual administration costs range from 600 euros to 1800 euros. Okay, um, we're not going to read this. I'm not saying it's not important, read it yourself. But um, if you have a question about it, just ask me. Because I don't want to make this video too long. But okay, so technically we have three costs. We have the notary cost. So if I want to operate it, I want to create a um, cooperative. I need to go to the notary. So we have the notary cost. We have the registration fee. And we have the administration cost. Yeah. These are the costs that we are having. Technically, they are right because if you look how you can form a cooperative, you need to go to the notary. So the notary, the notary you have to pay for it between 600 and uh, 1,000 uh, dollar um, euros, if I'm correct. Sorry about that. 500 euros, between 500 euros and 1,000 euros. And the registration fee is just only 50 euros. So we have five and 500,000 um, 500, euros. And this one is um, 50 euros. And this one, it depends how big your company is. Is it big? Then uh, you have to pay a lot. But if it's small, you don't have to pay a lot, really. It depends how much work the account has to do. Or the bookkeeper. Um, keep in mind, the price that you pay here is without VAT. So if you're a person and you're from Holland, most of the time you need to pay VAT. Keep that in mind. Registration fee, um, I don't think they have VAT on it because it's a government company. So um, thank you. These are the costs. Seriously, these are the costs. If you're planning to um, if you're planning to create a cooperative in the Netherlands and you want to know what the right process is and what you should do, so Go to the law center. So you go to martis.bio.link. You see the law center here. You press it and you arrive to the law center. And then you can ask me questions directly. As soon as you arrive in the law center, our assistant will contact you and ask you a question or help you, whatever you want. And if you really need um, help as soon as possible, you will get direct contact with me. So if you like this video, you'll be like, okay, I want to support us. Support us. We appreciate it. But by watching, I really appreciate what you are doing. Uh, so you can press this, you arrive on this page. And on this page, we have a goal here. So you can support us by making a donation. You can also become a member. Member, you have certain kind of benefits in the law center. So you get access to uh, legal documents or things that you need when you become a member. So think about it. Right? But uh, you can support us by making a donation of $5. Or you can support us by making donation, whatever amount you want. I uh, really, really appreciate it. Seriously, you really appreciate it. So, I hope you liked this video. And for, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and turn on the notification be bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video.